Appendix is not details of the term, that is glossary. Appendix is at the very end of the book where they are going to put some things that can be available for easy reference. List. Appendix is a list. Okay, no? It can be tables also. Now, there are three appendices. In the first appendix, what do we have? We have, uh, this is important, this is a focus on for two minutes because if you understand this sites then you will understand CMS also the next one that we are talking about because both have the same structure okay so appendix one has species that are most endangered appendix one has species that are most endangered what is an example black rhino black rhino is one of the most endangered species and sites has it in appendix one Okay, so these are almost at the risk of extinction. They are almost at the risk of extinction. If trade continues, they will go extinct. These are those kind of flora and fauna, not just fauna, not just animals, both plants and animals. Clear? Huh? Okay, so for this, commercial trade is prohibited. In fact, in the appendix of sites, the wordings they use is almost always prohibited. They don't say prohibited like how we have written it here. It says almost always prohibited because they are not able to enforce it. Understood, no? So, right appendix 1 has the most endangered animals in it. Now, let's look at appendix 2. Appendix 2, these are species that aren't necessarily endangered right now. But if they continue trading in it, it will become endangered. So we won't, we don't want to go to that stage. Before that only they start putting it in the appendix and they'll say, if you continue trading in it, then this will become endangered. Okay, right. So example is African elephants and ivory. Ivory trade was big. I mean, you would have seen Kenya and everything. All these National Geographic videos you would have seen. Okay. So, appendix 2 is not necessarily endangered, but must be closely monitored. And example is African elephant. We all have almost 400,000 African elephants today. Correct, no? That's not a very small number. But compared, we had this discussion, no? Compared to what was there in 1500, it is a minuscule population. Huh? And if it continues like this, that will also become endangered. Okay, sites appendix 3. This has all the species that is protected at least in one country. For example, in India you may have one species that is there in abundance, but that species may not be there in abundance in some other country. So some other country may place it in their endangered list or in their protected list. So even those species are protected under sites, but they are placed in appendix 3. 